morning, adventurers. Good morning. We made it to Kyoto, and it is magnificent out here. It's 80 degrees, and we are loving awesome it. Awesome in shorts. I'm wearing shorts for the first time in maybe like six months, actually, you guys. I am still in pants yeah, for some no. reason, mostly because my legs are just too freaking white. We are on a mission. Oh, no. I just dropped my straw. Oh, no. Oh, man. How you... Five-second roll? I don't think that works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rewind. So we are on a mission to go check out the Nishiki Market, which is actually just right behind us. It has all kinds of goodies in there that we're excited to try. But as well, we were talking about, we got some coffee on the way here. It's going to be a good day, I think. Yeah, we found this stand that's just right down the road from the market. When we were walking by, we were just hit with, the, with this wall of delicious coffee aroma. Oh yeah. And had to get a couple iced coffees because it's yeah. just that kind of weather out here. Oh my God, it's so nice. I just want to be outside forever. We have made it to Nishiki Market, which as you can see is a local shopping street here in Kyoto. There are more than 130 shops in here and they have all sorts of unique foods to try. It's open from 9 to 5 every day except for Wednesday and Sunday. It's Saturday, as you can see it's pretty hopping. Let's go check it out. The Nishiki Market is about five blocks long and the whole thing is covered with this colorful rooftop, yellow, Beautiful. red, and green. Yeah, it's really cool. It makes a really nice vibe in here. The street's really tight and it's crowded, but it's not too crowded right now. No, it's not bad at all. And I was, I know there's a lot of like fish and seafood in here, uh, but it doesn't smell like that at all. No, it it's fine. actually really pleasant. There's a lot of restaurants cooking stuff, so it kind of smells like fried food. And there's not just food in here. There's also like knife shop, oh, yeah. chopstick shop, and all mm -hmm. kinds of other little trinkets you can pick up. You guys, we found the cutest little coin purses, and we actually are in desperate need of one of these because Japan, we were just talking, they're really, um, it's like a cash society. Cash or cash pretty much for everything. We can't get our cards to work on most of the underground train systems in a lot of restaurants. It's cash only. And we didn't quite realize that. So now I have like change and dollars like all over me and all my pockets, my purse. So I think I'm gonna rectify that today. And what better place to get it than here and get one of these cute little guys. But what do we want? We have no. like pandas, pandas, geishas. I think there were kitties Kitty on the guys. other side. Nothing. All right. Just, I think this is the winner. Ironically, this place takes credit card. So we're buying the coin purse with a credit card. <laughs> there is so much stuff at this market. They have fresh fish, meat on sticks, a bunch of fried stuff on sticks. They have raw sushi on, or raw fish on sticks, pickled stuff, and you can basically try a sample of most things, which is awesome. You can try before you buy. Yeah, we're currently casing the whole market and figuring out exactly what we want before we jump in. This stand here has a bunch of stuff just frying away. I think this over here, these are scallops that are frying in the foil. And he takes this blowtorch and just like singes the outside. Now we've had scallops before, but they're always teeny tiny. These are amazing. And they're really buttery smelling. I'm scared it's gonna be really, really hot since yeah. he literally lit it on fire. <laughs> what was hot? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That might be the best scallop I've ever had in my entire life. It's so buttery and salty and perfectly cooked. Oh man. <laughs> man, that is so tasty. It's got like a pepperiness, butteriness to it. He put some kind of powder on the top. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but this thing is perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, I'm trying one of the infamous pickles. That's the cucumber variety. They have, um, I think like daikon and all sorts of other things. Yeah, so pickle, pickles are like a big thing here, right? At the yeah, market? especially in this market. Yeah, yeah, you can you can smell it everywhere, but they pickle all sorts of interesting things. Oh, it's really lightly pickled, so it's more just kind of like a salty cucumber. It's really nice. We've reached the end of the street, but it actually opens up to two other gigantic streets with a ton more shops, a lot more walking space. It looks so more much. like clothing and goods yeah. than food and food. There's so much stuff to explore here. Set aside a whole day. Yeah. Okay, let's just say that. An entire day.
these are chestnuts that they're roasting over here. Hmm, they smell really interesting. I've actually never had a chestnut. Kind of smells like a potato, surprisingly. Oh, tastes like a potato that's a little bit sugary. <laughs> wow, that's really good. The market also has tons of these fresh vegetable stands. And from our research, what we found is that vegetables here in Kyoto actually have higher volumes of, I guess, minerals, fibers, and vitamins. Yeah, and it's it said specifically the heirloom variety heirloom of vegetables. Heirloom variety. These vegetables have been grown here forever and they've been taken care of really well. So it's these kind of like ancient varieties of vegetables that are still being grown to this day. That's also why it's a little bit more expensive to purchase veggies here. Pretty much everything in this market comes on a stick and I just found this spot that sells, I think it's kind of like a sweet potato, pumpkin, and carrot on a stick and it just sounds so good. Uh, it turns out it's actually a fish cake that I got. I thought it was gonna be kind of like a dumpling thing but she said there's two types of fish in here. Now that I'm smelling it, it is a little fishy. It'll still be good though. Yeah. It's really hot. That's awesome. It kind of tastes like um, a little bit fishy hush puppy for all of our US viewers. I'm not sure if they have hush puppies other places in the world, but it's like deep fried dough. It's real dense and gooey in there and you have this like outer fried layer and then it's a little bit lighter colored on the inside. Huh. Ooh, that's real good. Yeah. Oh, that's, that is so good. It's just like, deliciously fried and salty and a little bit doughy. So this was 450 yen, which is kind of around four USD, but this could almost fill you up. You know, it's a very filling thing to eat. You might need one other little little item from the uh, market, but this could do the trick. This is really good. guy's got the biggest mortar and pestle in the land. He's literally got like a mallet that he's beating into it. That is pretty cool. The second they started beating this stuff, this whole crowd has formed. So I just asked the guy, and that's just mochi that they're creating over there. And I think what happens is they, they beat it at three o'clock. So we're here right, at, right on time. For our next adventure on a stick, we got these uh, dumplings in sweet soy sauce. So it looks like they're grilled little dumplings. And the soy sauce does smell, it smells really sweet, almost like honey mixed with soy sauce. Oh. Oh, that's really gooey, huh? That's not what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> not good? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it's, um, I think there's honey in there. I don't know why, but honey is one of the few things that I really dislike. Yeah, I think it's like honey soy sauce. You'll love it. <laughs> it's like oh, wow. taffy or something. That's like chewing gum. Yeah. Wow, it's really good though. You like it? I can see why you don't like this. Yeah. This is almost like a dessert. Yeah, I thought it was, I mean, I knew wow. it was sweet soy sauce, but. It's pretty good though. And he was only uh, 170 yen, so like $1.50. Not too bad for a little sweet treat. One of the things they have at this market is uh, fresh sashimi on a stick. Everything um, on a stick. Yeah, we found a quiet little alleyway with decent lighting to actually uh, try this. They also have sea urchin, which is this guy over here, and uh, it kind of has the texture of a tongue a little bit. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, it really doesn't look good, but we've never had sea urchin before, so we figured we'd try it. But we've also got some salmon on a stick here with a little bit of a uh, I think just some coriander or something like that on it. And then we have some fatty salmon with sesame seeds on it. And I think it's been a kind of satin soy sauce. Real good, very fresh. He squeezed a little bit of lemon on there. So it's got a, just a little bit of citrus note to it. Got to dump a little bit of soy sauce on here. Oh man, that is just smooth and creamy. So good. Oh, it's I'm like for a the sea urchin. Tongue. I don't know that I'm gutsy enough to put this whole thing in. My, I know it looks small, but 
it just looks so unappetizing. You never know though, it could taste really good. Can you do soy sauce? Oh yeah, let's put a little soy sauce know. in there. Just a little bit. Ooh, real salty. Oh, I thought it would be a... <laughs> no, it's, it's just salty. So you definitely get more of a fishy, seawater kind of taste, and it falls right apart in your mouth. I thought it was gonna be a bit like chunkier. <laughs> the fishy kind of taste isn't that appetizing, but it's a little bit salty. It's, it's really not that bad of a flavor. Huh. It's just so creamy. It's like pate. It really doesn't taste bad, but that texture, that's a rough one. I've got to get Allison's reaction to this sea urchin. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be good. <laughs> it's like jello. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, like fishy oyster jello. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you're right. You know what? It has like the essence of melon. Yeah. Like a, I was telling like her, a, I think I already turned the camera off, but it's got kind of a fruity melony kind of this tastes like i drank like a melon smoothie and then drank salt water immediately yeah. afterwards but it's not like it's a terrible flavor right it's, it's just the texture is really rough really strange it tastes like the ocean smells in my mouth thank goodness i have my soy sauce fatty salmon to wash it down with oh yeah it smells so good well it's really creamy hmm it's not too salty either. I thought because it was in marinated in the soy sauce, it would be a little bit extreme, but it's not. I'm gonna put some wasabi on there. Oh yeah, soy sauce and wasabi on this. Woo baby, it's so fresh. So the final thing we're trying on a stick is this little guy. This is an octopus with a quail egg shoved up into his little head. <laughs> I don't know how this, this might be a little weird. How exactly are you supposed to eat it? Tentacles first? I might just bite into his head, is that yeah. okay? Oh, his head really slides off of there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say it has some kind of sweet glaze on it, like almost like teriyaki. Um, so it doesn't, the flavor is not bad. It's just um, pretty strange biting into an octopus head and eating an egg inside of it. <laughs> By far one of the most unique things we have ever tried. We felt like we, we really needed some dessert after all that fishy stuff we've been eating. So uh, we came to this donut place, which is famous for their soy milk donuts. They uh, make these tiny little guys that you can get with um, caramel, or plain or with chocolate or mm. i think apple cinnamon yeah apple cinnamon but uh we opted to get chocolate and they literally just squirted a bunch of uh, hershey's, hershey's chocolate syrup, syrup on there on <laughs> so we've got fried yeah. little donuts with hershey's syrup on top it reminds me of when we did our portland food tour we got little tiny donuts for the first time yeah. i like it and they give you the cutest little forks all right oh it's dripping Ding. cheers <laughs> oh yeah i'd say Maybe don't do the chocolate. It's too overpowering. Yeah, the donut itself has this kind of like vanilla flavor. It's not really cakey. Uh, it's more flaky, kind of like a croissant, mm -hmm. I would say. If you like Hershey's chocolate, then you're gonna love dipping it into this vat of Hershey's. Ugh. I don't feel like it needs it, really. Plain no. might be the way to go. Plus you get more for your money. This was um 300 yen for six, but you get 10 if you do plain. Nice job, donut place. Mm -hmm. Swim milk donuts for the win. <laughs> this is the Pontocho area, which is famous for its geishas. But what exactly is a geisha? They're basically entertainers who are also hostesses. And traditionally, they were meant to entertain males, but they also nowadays entertain both male and female.
there's a street we're on that just runs the length of this whole area but it's covered in restaurants and bars and things on either side and I think it doesn't really pick up until uh, later around 8 p.m. onward I think but it's starting to get pretty busy now now that it's dark so I think we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and explore the area but this uh, town is actually known for all of its temples so we have to see at least a couple of those before yeah. we leave so we're gonna get those in tomorrow before we head to Osaka if this is your first time to our channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and our other videos that we're gonna be making here in Japan and then in the Philippines we hope you enjoyed coming along with us to the market it was delicious not everything but most of it was amazing good night adventure We'll see you on the road.